Filtering sets. Alma has extended the functionality of sets by now allowing you to filter existing sets to create new sets. Just like classic sets, the new refined sets can be used wherever Alma functionality requires that you specify the name of a set. We'll create these sets from other sets using indication rules. These indication rules are similar to normalization rules and they use the flexible rules logic to filter existing sets. Here's an example of the type of set you can create using the Drool's logic indication rules. Let's say I want to create a set that has the following criteria. It should exclude government documents, and it should have bibliographic records that do not contain a mark 074 or 086. And I want to limit the records to just include print journals. Drool's allows for this. In addition, you can check for brief bibliographic records or missing fields by using the Drool's logic. In order to do this, you're going to need a cataloger role to conduct the workflow. Let's pick an existing set. I'm going to choose the set called Harry Potter 2. Now, on the right, under Actions, I'll click on Filter Set. At this point, we can rename the set to whatever we choose. The OTB values will include the name of the previous set with the word filtered and a time and date stamp. We can change it to something like Harry Potter X4 number 2015, just for example. We can add a description, it's the best, and a note, it will be filtered. Here, under filter set, we can choose which indication rules to use. Out of the box, there are two different indication rules, and you can create your own using the metadata editor. The way to create a new indication rule would be to enter the metadata editor, And under File, go to New, and click on Indication Rules. Here we could give a name for the indication rules, and a description as well. We'll click Save. And under Rules, under Indication Rules, we now have our new sample. And you can insert the rules here as follows. Also, here below, you can see the two OTB drools values, and you can edit them as you wish. But let's go back to our export. We'll go to Manage Sets, and we were in the process of filtering Harry Potter number two. And we'll choose one of the OTB values. We'll click Submit and confirm. The filtered set job was submitted and email will be set upon completion. Now upon refresh of the manage sets dialog, we have our new set and here listed as HP2. If we click on members, we can see what is involved within the set and we see that there are now 12 records as opposed to 17. The, fil the set has indeed been filtered down. Thank you for viewing this session.